Welcome back to the Freezing Bear channel. Today we're going to be looking at probably some of the worst content on YouTube. We're going to be looking at some shorts, and I'm not talking about the kind you wear. We're going to be looking at some of them YouTube shorts. I'm just going to show you the video right now and then you'll understand what I mean. <laughs> What the f was that? So let's just break down this incredibly well thought out prank video. So they started off with the classic loud equals funny, you know, just starting off with the caveman voices. <laughs> Already off to a great start, absolutely bursting with laughter as you can see. He then gets his mom to look in the other direction where he shows us that one of the plates has jello on the back. <laughs> Whoa boy, that's just insane. Jello on the back of a plate. Then when the mom turns around, she sees both the plates and even though they are identical um, and none of them have any food on them, she decides that she's gonna swap them just for no apparent reason. She's like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna swap them. I want this plate better. While she's trying to swap them, like the jello gets stuck to the table. You can see that she's struggling a bit to like move the plate over to her side, but obviously she's still none the wiser that there's jello stuck to the back of the plate. And then we get some more loud noises too, because loud equals funny. That's the only way to be funny is just like, ah! You know, that's the only way to be funny is just to like random loud noises. <laughs> Next he starts whacking his head with the plate, which kind of explains a lot about why he's making these kind of videos. So I kind of understand a little bit more now. So then the mom sees that and goes, oh, that sounds like a fun thing to do. So she does that. But instead when she goes to put it on her face, the jello falls off all over her face, which is just so hilarious. It's just so funny. And then the video ends with the mom struggling to breathe with the jello covering her mouth. And then the worst thing about this is it has 70 million views and 1.4 million likes. So for some reason, a lot of people actually like this video, which I cannot understand. Now let's have a look at some of the comments. So one guy says, this actually killed 99.9% .9 of my brain cells. So I can totally agree with this. I feel like they need to do a study where they get like a group of people and tell them they can only watch these type of videos. And then after like a week or a month, they get them to do like a IQ test. Because if there was any type of video that was actually able to make you dumber, this would be it. This video would be it. I really like this comment. Give me back those 20 seconds now. Yeah, those are 20 seconds you are never getting back. I don't get how there can be so many negative comments on this video, but yet it has 1.4 million likes. Like that's insane. I don't I don't understand how that works. He's the type of guy who climbs a glass wall to see the other side. <laughs> so this guy's channel is called Zuti Gang. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but he's verified too by YouTube but his subscriber count is hidden, so you can't see how many subscribers he has, which is kind of sneaky. This guy is obviously a pioneer when it comes to comedy, so let's check out his most recent video. And it's an air horn prank. Wow, nobody's ever done that before. Let's check it out. I don't know why they didn't decide to film it again, but instead they're like, yeah, the one where the dog's like running along the mom and like barking, yeah, no, she wouldn't wake up from that. No, she'd only wake up from the air horn, which is just slightly louder than the dog barking. <laughs> if you had a dog running around on your chest and barking, I'm pretty sure that would wake most people up. These videos are just so lazy, but this guy knows his audience. There's gonna be like five-year-olds watching this video and they aren't gonna like notice anything. They're gonna find this hilarious. This, that's probably what it is. That's probably 1.6K is just like five-year-olds on their mom's iPad, like watching this video, like, oh, air horn, <laughs> that's so funny. It makes loud noises. Because I wanna get dumber, we're gonna watch one more video. I don't even know what to say. They're doing, it's the same thing. He's done the same thing again, but this time he's put glitter on it and then the mom still hasn't noticed that there's any glitter on the plate and then puts her hand in the glitter this this is so bad I don't want to hear this anymore no way who finds this funny I'm genuinely mad now I thought that was a one-off I didn't realize he was gonna be doing multiple of this type of video this is so bad you could argue that the mom didn't see it when she was switching the plates because she was just looking straight ahead but when she puts her hand on the plate she would feel that there is something on that plate and then instead she just rubs it on her face and then it's like, oh, what the heck? How did this get on here? What the hell? How did this get on my face? Have they done more like this? If they've done more like this, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> 
and while they're switching places when the guy's looking in the wrong direction, they are swapping the place and you can see they clearly look down at the plates when they swap them. So how the, this is just so bad. They're not even selling it well too. There's so many better ways to make pranks. This is just so lazy. Who the f changes around plates when there's nothing on them? If you actually wanted to make this video good, what you'd do is you'd like put the slime underneath the plate and then you put like a cupcake on one of the plates and then when somebody went to grab the plate, they'd be like, ah, oh, I got slime on my hands, you know, stuff like that. That would still be terribly cringy, but it would make sense. This doesn't make sense in any way. There's just, there's no reason for them to swap the plates which just really bothers me. And I know it shouldn't. I know I need to calm down. I know I need to take some deep breaths. F these videos, F these things. What the hell? Tell me you do drugs without telling me you do drugs. <laughs> I think he took the return to monk too seriously. <laughs> I don't think you can even say that though because I think monkeys are smarter than this. So I don't know what he returned to. I don't know where he returned. <laughs> I honestly want to know how much money they're making from this. Like imagine if somebody asked you what your job was and you're like, oh, I'm a YouTuber. And they're like, oh, that's pretty cool. What kind of videos do you make? And you're like, oh, I make videos for five year olds pretending I have a negative 40 IQ. And they're like, oh. Awesome, good, good job. <laughs> You'd have to pay me a lot of money to make these kind of videos. So if I ever start making videos like this, you know I'm just making bank. I'm just absolutely loaded, okay? Comment down below the amount of money you'd have to get paid to make a video like this. I do it for a solid 20. <laughs> the only thing is if you're not enjoying it, but you're just doing it for the money, like that's the wrong way to be making videos. Like I wanna be making videos about stuff I really enjoy. So I don't know. I, could, I couldn't just do, if I had to do those for the rest of my life, but was making money, I don't know. I probably couldn't do it. So to sum this all up, the fact that these kind of videos exist on YouTube. It's driving me bonkers. So that's the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and please subscribe and whatever you do, stay away from this channel if you want your sanity. Oh.